Hello again, Doc on the Clock with more Super Mario Collision, and I, Henrique. Today, the Red Switch Palace... I keep forgetting that these tend to actually be, uh, real challenges. Even though they're, uh, not super long stages. <sighs> Come on. Oh, really? One of these? Oh, boy. You're gonna be a superb pain in the gluteus, aren't you? Oh, yes, you are. Oh, come on. I figured. Okay, let's do a little bit of exploration. Nope. So it's... Yep, it's the top one. And getting, even getting that piece of switches Ridiculous. Come on! A little bit of grace? Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. Ugh. Ugh. I think I'm gonna lose a life here. Considering what I have to do, I have to get very lucky if I want to get if I'm gonna get through this. So far, not feeling it. Ugh. That was kind of a uh, very close shave. I am not a huge fan of those uh, pick a path, we give you no sign what path you need to pick kind of things. It's one of the reasons I never finished the original Super Mario Brothers. But, such is life. We have the red switch. It wasn't as bad as I had feared it might be. And now... Well, before we continue on to that way, let's go to... let's go this direction and finish this path up. Statue's Mayhem. Well... Hello, Windio. Oh! Oh, I knew you were Bowser Statues, but I wasn't expecting you. Um... You're going to be a pain, aren't you? Uh, whoa, okay, what? This is not good. This is all sorts of not good. Oh boy. Really? as bad as I thought it might be, but still. Crazy! Okay. Okay, I can't go through there. So, no biggie. A few fireballs, I can dodge those. A few spinies, I can't apparently dodge those. Um... I also can't avoid having statues stomp on my head. Oh, cruel irony! <laughs> well, that kind of limited my options.
Ah. You know, what they're asking you to do here is kind of crazy. I'm gonna get big. Ah. Really? Sacrificing hits. Hopefully, I won't need those. Well, at least they give me a uh, feather to compensate. Man, not an easy stage. And once again, that uh, goal post terminated pretty high, so I think that's where I'm going to find my secret exit. This time it's another goal. All right. Well, let's that exit down. Once again, that one goes to the Star Road, so I'm gonna leave that for later. Now up the fortress pathway, Brick Desert. This guy likes his desert stages. Hmm, original music. Don't hear that all that often. Haven't heard that all that often in this game. Alright, uh, some throw blocks. Any. Nope. Fortunately, come on. This is not a trap. I know it's not. That is, but there's no secret exit in this stage, so I'm guessing those are blocks which are taken out by fireballs. Um, those blocks are not. Well, now I can grab them, apparently. But they don't do anything. Ugh. I feel like there may be some issues with this game. Namely, not everything works right. Oh. 
All right, no, I, I'm not the most fantastic of players, but I, I, there are certain things that I can tell if they're really not working properly. Cold Lake. And here, if you haven't learned what uh, takes care of uh, these ice blocks yet, now is the time you learn, apparently. Uh, if I can keep one of those around, just in case. This is an area where you can kind of screw yourself over. Um, that is, if you could go in the door at all. Apparently that's just flavor. Let's see what more is here. I don't know if I'm supposed to go more laterally or more... Well, maybe I can avoid freeing up enemies as much as possible. As much as possible. Or just defeat them as I free them. That also works. a goal orb. Okay. Yeah, um... Not a fan. I have to say, uh... There's, uh... It started off really well, but we're starting to see some really, uh, iffy stage design choices here. Um... Oh uh, no, do I have enough time? I think so. <coughs> bright castle. It's certainly bright, and just I just a door I can go through, and it's a reset door. Um okay, let's go up there and see if there's uh, it's a power up which I would ordinarily take, but I have, uh, my full... Ooh. That green door is... What in the world is going on here? Okay, <laughs> yeah, that's kind of my, uh, my response, too. What? Oh, well, I kind of messed that one up. I'm now in black. And I've just kind of lost my, uh, one means of getting through this pretty quickly. Uh, yeah. I did not think that was going to work. Uh, well, now I have to kind of try and get through the saws, and I'm not going to. Let's go grab myself a cake. Well, once again, we have, uh, a 
wish now Super Mario, uh, uh, Super Mario World music, which is kind of weird because there's a lot of custom music in this game, and it seems, there seems to be no rhyme or reason to when there isn't. I need a fireball to get through there, but uh, at this point I really don't want to get through there. Okay, whoa! to avoid. This is not the right station to be doing this to. Ah, uh, I'm done. Ah. Uh. Except, you absolutely have to be small to get through. This is possible. I don't see how this is possible. If that was the intended way to do that, then there's no excuse for that level. That's just... That's just bad design. I'm sorry, that's... That is a poorly made level, and it really does not give me a lot of high hopes for this, because it feels like the uh, level design is going farther and farther downhill. How is... I don't 
don't know how this is rated a normal difficulty hack, because this is obviously way more than uh, the original Super Mario World. Unless that's classified as easy, in which case... Ugh, I'm not looking forward to playing anything that's hard. Ugh. Well, this will probably run way over, even with editing, so I'm going to stop this here. Until next time, this is Doc. I'll see you later.